this year has been quite interesting, and I have never seen so much, uh, let's be honest with you, so much tyranny come out of the federal government, particularly the executive branch of government, which just lights my fire. And so I spend half my nights before I go to sleep saying, what can I do and what should we do and what can we do to keep Tennessee people free from tyranny? And uh, so there's a couple of things. When I look on the horizon out here, there's, there's a lot of evil coming against this nation. And one of the biggest ones that scares me the most is all the Federal Reserve people now are talking about a central bank digital currency. That scares me to death. Because you do understand when we go to a central bank digital currency, you and I lose our liberty. Because you will be told what to do. There will be no cash at all. None at all. It'll, it'll be digits on a phone or on your computer or a chip in your hand. That scares me because it, uh, it puts us in a, in a really, really bad position. So I think to myself, what can we do? What, 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 what effort can we do to stave this off to keep Tennessee people free? And so there's, there's two or three bills I've been working on to try and, and set up planks that will protect my children and your children and my grandchildren and your grandchildren. And one, one of them is, it, is to do away with the tax on gold bullion and rare coins and paper, paper money. Uh, we have to set that up and that's because I've been trying to get a gold depository in the state of Tennessee for about seven years. And, and Tasser did a study on it this past summer, didn't recommend it. But I met with the governor three days ago and talked about it doing it because in the meantime uh, we have investors who want to build it and staff it and uh, there's no cost to Tennessee taxpayers at all and yet the state of Tennessee can put gold bullion in there and uh, at no charge and when it gets big enough they get a revenue stream out of it the treasurer can can, can go in there anytime he wants to and, and, and Jason can audit it and, uh, <laughs> So I think it's a win-win deal, but it, it also protects Tennessee people. It's a great hedge against hyperinflation. It's a great hedge on the currency collapse. And so anyway, I, I hope you'll keep those kinds of things in mind. There's another bill, and, and just to talk about this same section for just a second. Um, this is not my idea. This was Mike Carter's idea. Mike, Mike Carter was a state rep out of Ottawa down next to Chattanooga. And a, and a good man, a man I admired. He passed away last May. But before he died, we talked, and I promised him that I would run this bill. And I have met with trustees across Tennessee. And uh, it's a bill that says you can pay your property tax forward. Uh, it, would, it would have trustees establish an escrow account so that you can put as much money in there as you want to pay your property taxes forward as long as you want. That way if you have hyperinflation, you have a bad year, you have some catastrophic things that happen, uh, at least the state can't take your property away. So those are some things that I'm looking at personally. Um, there's another bill dealing with constables. Uh, constables are elected people and so when they foul up it's kind of hard to correct them. So I have a bill that says that if a constable's indicted or gets arrested, that the criminal court judge in that county will put him out of service uh, pending the outcome of a trial. So trying to stamp out problems, I, I gotta tell you, it is an incredible honor to represent District 2 in, in Nashville, and I appreciate it very much.